everyone, welcome to Moving On TV and today we've got awesome people from around the world. So welcome to Moving On TV. Today um, I'm talking to Lenny Duval about an amazing healing technique that she has come up with which is called the blueprint. The blueprint? Healing blueprint? It's a healing blueprint? Healing blueprint. Healing right. blueprint. Yep. Healing right. blueprint. Yep. That's great. So Lenny, how are you today? I'm great. It's so nice. <laughs> it's wonderful to have you here from Pennsylvania. That's right, isn't it? How's the weather? Mm -hmm. Yep. Good. It's kind of hot today. It's been pretty cool this last week, though, enough to where I could turn the air conditioner. Okay. They're off. It's a little hot today. It's about 82. Not too bad. Okay, so we were talking before about how you received this amazing technique, which I've been using on my leg, um, and I must admit, I've been releasing pain all the time. I mean, I, people have been seeing it on Facebook. Um, I was in quite a lot of pain because I had an accident uh, this time last year. I was in a wheelchair for four months, and I didn't have an operation. So when I came out of um, the wheelchair, I decided I was going to heal the pain if it came without any medication, because that's how I am. And you saw that and you contacted me and you taught me the blueprint technique, which I've been using continuously. And my leg has been practically free of pain. And as soon as I got any pain, I used it. And within minutes, um, well, less than minutes, I was actually walking. And the whole time I was in the USA, I had no pain. And quite honestly, I don't really have pain thanks to you. So I'm very, very grateful. And I want us to pass this message on to everyone. So a question that I have for you is, I know a lot of people that are in intense pain. I mean, really, really suffering from a lot of pain. And how would you get someone that's actually in intense pain, that it's hard for them to even sit and think that they could ask their pain in? How are you going to do it? Would you do that? Um, by steps, like slowly, slowly, gently, gently, because quite honestly, my pain was not severe enough. And luckily when I sit down, I could get rid of it. It was only when I was walking. So if I was walking, I, I would use this technique and then the pain would go. But what if you've got someone that is really, really an intense, horrendous pain, because I know people like that. How can they use the, the, the technique, the blueprint? The best way to do it is that you need to work on it all day long. They just would need to welcome it and welcome it and welcome it. Mm -hmm. It works on any pain. So it doesn't matter whether it's intense or a little bit. Um, it works on either one. So the best thing to do is just build your belief up more and more by welcoming mm -hmm. the pain all day long by setting the sword and shield down first. And uh, mm -hmm. you just need to get past that belief wall you know, and some people have a harder time. Some people have a really easy time breaking through that wall. But either way, whether you're in intense pain or not, you just want to welcome the pain all day long. Welcome it, love it, mm -hmm. thank it for the experiences that it has given you. It's basically just a process of doing it until it clicks. Okay. So basically, you're, what you're doing is you're surrendering your pain. You're giving it up. You're saying... You're putting your sword down. I presume that's because you're giving a message to the subconscious to say you're not going to fight. Is that right? Right. You're giving a message to the actual pain. Okay. Or you know, welcoming it as as opposed to reacting negative to, to it. The surrender does come into it, but it's more of like you're not attacking or against the pain you're welcoming it welcoming it into your body so that it can move through you as opposed to mm -hmm. attaching it to you okay so now sorry with okay. um who has working with chemo so she's in pretty, really oh we have a, a woman right now that's has working with chemo symptoms and she's with it too and is able to clear her chemo pain so i consider that fantastic. to be pretty intense and oh i've been working with God. her that's fantastic it, that is such an amazing gift Whenever I see people suffering physical pain, I just want to go over to them and I want to take it away. You know, you know, we're healers and you think, oh, I can lay my hands on them yep. and help them. But you're, it's really about taking responsibility for your own life and your own body and believing 
that you can do it. That's really what it is, isn't it? Everything's like yeah. that. So, um, because what you were saying as well, it's very interesting. I've been doing a lot of reading about pain because like I say, I was suffering a lot and I've been reading a lot. And I think that 90% or 99% of it is because we tense up, we get frightened, we get angry. And so what you're doing by welcoming the yes. pain in, it, it's like if you have a, a child that's misbehaving, you know, you're giving them love. And whenever you give love, Yes. Then that then it starts to change because you're you're giving you're reinforcing the love, and I think everything's about that these days, isn't it? So do you want to give us some? Um, um, just everything uh, wants uh, to be. Hello, <laughs> I can't hear you. Are you still there? Oh, yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. So, okay, good. do you want to give us some? Um, a little um, like how do you do the session like someone is watching now and they're in intense pain and they want to really they say right I, that's it I'm going to take control now of my body I'm going to do everything I can now I'm going to follow what Lenny says so so what are the steps that they need sure. the first thing that you want to do is imagine that you're holding a sword and shield or whatever you to defend against something. I personally like to use a sword and shield. You're going to imagine yourself setting the sword and shield down and then walking up to an imagined being or sacred space, the door opening, and then your issue, say neck pain, walking through the door and you welcome it. You say, well, my home, thank you for the experiences that you have given me or welcome to my beating space or home. I love you. Take a second to love it and thank it for the experience that it has given you the actual the the script that I use is I set my sword and shield down walk up hi neck pain welcome thank you for the experiences that you have given me something about that sentence thank you for the experiences that you have given me is magical for me and it works really well then I take to thank it and love it and then the exercise is over and it only takes 15 to 30 seconds it's really simple okay that's fantastic thank it and love it and then the exercise is over and it only takes 15 to 30 seconds it's really simple okay that's fantastic so you basically take whatever represents to you uh, violence so for example you said boxing gloves yeah if someone felt that boxing gloves was a way of fighting they would take the boxing gloves off and they would put them down on the ground um, if it to you, it's a, if it's a sword or guns, you lay your guns down, you know, you literally, and you can actually feel, yes. ah, I feel it. I feel the relief. The minute I take something that I consider violent and put it on the ground, my body goes like that. The relief comes. And then you invite the pain in. So for example, if it's pain in the neck, <laughs> I actually call it pin, pain in the neck. So I'm giving it a name, or pain in the leg pill. You can give it a name and then you can be creative because when I started to do this, Lenny, I was laughing so much because I was creating my characters, you know, cause I'm an actress and a director. So when pain in the neck came in, I could see them, what they looked like. I sat them down. Um, I put cushions around them, started getting someone to massage their feet. I brought in belly dancers, <laughs> you know, to give them entertainment. And I could feel awesome. that as I started to laugh, the pain started to disappear because it's always the same. It's, as I said, if you go on the stage and you perform, I know people with MS. And they can't walk, never mind run. But when they go on the stage to perform, they run from one side of the stage to the other. So it's, it's really connecting to what we really are. You know, they call it mind over matter. But it's connecting to what we really are, isn't it? That's really what it is. But yeah. you, are, so you are very, very, very lucky and inspired to be able to be given this. And um, now you were given this when you had a serious mold allergy. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yes. In, back in 2003, I got really sick and almost died, began to see spirit from the mold. And then in 2016, what happened was I spilled water in my room. 
and it became mold. And then I breathed that in and about a day into it, uh, my guides came and said, do you want to heal from this or do you want to suffer from it your entire life? And I said, sure. So they told me about the sword and shield and they just kept saying, welcome to my body mold, telling me to say that over and over again. And then it dissipated and I could not believe it. And I didn't, I was taking allergy pills too. <laughs> And I was getting a really bad, like weird feeling from those. And that dissipated too. Wow. So I stopped everything and cured the mold allergy just by doing that. So mold's kind of been my savior. <laughs> Incredible, isn't it? It brings me all the lessons. I <laughs> yeah. Um, so when you say they came to you, are you clairvoyant? Did you see them? What did they look like? Because I'd be fascinated to yeah, know. Yeah, I have. Yep, I have two on my left side, two on my right side, and then a, several other guides that are, they basically look like beautiful human beings. And they, they've been with me since 2003, but I wasn't able to connect with them to where I could hear what they were saying or write it down or channel it, whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, so they, they were with me the whole time during this experience and they always are with me but they were just were able to come through really strongly this time mm -hmm. and spread their message you know to how to heal this time so i i just kept going are you sure welcoming the mold that's the last thing <laughs> i want to do and they said yeah just keep welcoming mm -hmm. it to your body i was like okay welcome to my body mold i love you you know and then it, it worked i couldn't believe it well the proof is in the pudding guys um, if you're just going to be watching Moving on TV, I'm talking to Lenny Dubal. Lenny Dubal is a healer and she was given something called the blueprint, which helps to heal pain. And the proof is, as I say, the proof is in the pudding because I am using it. I'm using it and I have been able to release pain in my leg continuously through using it, which is incredible. And uh, we're going to take a quick little break now um, as we've got to have a word from our sponsor and an advert and then we'll come back and talk to Lenny a little bit more about this amazing blueprint and how you can use it in your day-to-day -day life. Thank you. Hello, my name is Marcin Oswald of Marcin Oswald Hypnotherapy. I specialize in smoking cessation, weight loss, phobia release, stress management and hypnobirthing. I can do a free assessment via the phone, via Skype, or face-to-face -face at any time. So that's Martin Oswald of Martin Oswald Hypnotherapy. Looking forward to your call now. You can also find me on my Facebook page, which is Martin Oswald Hypnotherapy. And today I'm talking to Lenny Dubal. And we're talking about the amazing blueprint that was handed down to her in uh, 2003. 2016, yeah. Um, Lenny was given this technique in 2016 where she learned how to heal all of these different symptoms in your body. Now, you have to remember that moving on TV, we, we don't tell you not to go to a doctor. On the contrary, Lenny actually works with people that are having chemotherapy and she's, you can use this in conjunction, which is so exciting, you know, because there are people out there that they have serious conditions, but they need to know that they can still use these techniques and there's no, obviously there's no <laughs> contraindications. You're not actually taking anything into your body. You're just using what you really are, your consciousness and love. It's all about the power of love. So, it, you know, we're brought up when we have a pain, I know I was, to punish that part of the body and say, God, I can't stand this body. I want to get out of it. I've had enough. And you get to a point when you're suffering a lot with pain, like when I couldn't walk because I was already suffering so much, you, wanna, you don't want the body anymore. And that's how we're brought up. We're brought in such a negative way. But what Lenny is doing and um, what a lot of, with all the spiritual work that we know does, it teaches us that we have to be in our bodies. We have to be grounded in our bodies. Yes. And, and love our bodies and be grateful that, you know, this flesh and bone is what gets me through it, it what makes me experience life. It's 
So it's very interesting because um, we're both students of A Course in Miracles and um, we work, I'm not a body, I'm free. For people who know what A Course in Miracles is, teachings of Jesus, but it's all about love. And um, we kind of, um, we're talking about this where I don't feel there's an actual struggle with the affirmation, uh, I'm not a body, I'm free. Because to me, everything that I'm taught through A Course in Miracles and spirituality is, it's not that I'm not a body, it's a metaphor. All it means is that I am not attached to this body. That's how I see it. So I am able to rise above it. And to a certain extent, um, we work together, yes. But body, you listen and you work with me. You know, I'm still, you know, kind of in charge here. My, what I am inside and therefore we work together. And, and what you're saying is the only way that we can work together is by loving this flesh and bone and this shell that we call a body and making it feel good, dressing it nicely, making it look good, but making it feel good inside. And so you believe that everything, every pain we go through comes from our emotions and, and things that we've gone through like grief and, and therefore the body reacts because it can only do so much on its own, is that right? Yeah, it can. Yeah, it can. It's almost like it's almost like you've, you've taken the power taken away the from power it over the years by learning it. By learning it, you just want to give the power back to the body to heal. You know, that's a big part of it. That's a big part of it. I've been watching this for about ten years now. What sicknesses and what illnesses have been going on in my body, and they've always been from emotional or spiritual issues. Mm -hmm. and so I do want to tackle that issue as well. Great. So you've got to get to the core. I mean, again, you've got the journey work, you've got Louise Hay, all of our metaphysical healers. But if we go all the way back to Myrtle Fillmore, um, I study unity, silent unity. Uh, Myrtle Fillmore in, in uh, the 1980s, the end of last century, she actually, well, century before, sorry, she actually was, um, she had TB. And um, they told her she was going to die in four months. And she loved her body back to, work, to being well again. She literally lay with her, herself every day for about two years and loved every part of her body back. Now, I was going to do that. I was going to lie there every single day. I tried it. And I said, I love you. I love you, my leg. I love you, my kidneys. I love you and thank you. But, you know, who wants to wait two years, you know? So, what, when you came to me and told me, Lauren, you can do this just like that, I thought, well, there you go. That actually fits the way we live these days. Well, because we live in a, in a consciousness where everybody wants everything very quickly, don't they? <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> I'm not patient at all. <laughs> Sat under a tree for years and years and years trying to figure all this stuff out. But the way we live is people want everything very quickly. Everything is texting and emails. and People don't have time to sit and to heal themselves for hours and hours and hours. So this is a technique that everyone can use. It, it's like taking a pill, but you're not actually taking a pill. You're, you're creating the health and the healing inside yourself without needing to take medication like myself I don't want the side effects. I don't want the side effects and therefore I cannot take medication. So if you're like me and you've chosen a journey like that, then you can use this technique and within seconds, minutes, whatever, you will start to definitely feel a relief. Um, but you can also use it if you're on medication and that's the beauty. So it's for everyone. It's for everyone, isn't it? So Lenny, how are you going out and promoting this? Are you going to write a book uh, to teach people? Um, how do you feel that you're going to go out and promote this? Well, right now I just use um, our websites, egointegration.com. All of the exercises are free on there. And then the other website is called wholeworldpeaceandtarot.com. And that explains my journey with the ego and it's our, our website but it has a lot of things.
things about the ego on there that the beginning of how all of these exercises came about, you know, with my relationship uh -huh. with the ego and loving the ego. So that's how I've been promoting it on Facebook, mm -hmm. things like that. It hasn't gotten very far yet. We're just kind of in the beginning of it. So, so far. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So do you want to give me those websites again? So the first one, what was the sure. first one? The first one is called whole. It's whole world peace and tarot word obviously dot com www.wholeworldpeaceandtarot.com okay that's the first one so if you go on there you can connect to Lenny and the other one is uh, egointegration.com www.egointegration.com uh, yeah. and you get all the exercises for free now, how incredible is that? And so you've decided to give everything from here, from the heart. You've been giving away these exercises. And this is incredible because there's so many people out there, those that have so little, they worry themselves to death and then they get sicker and sicker and sicker. And so you are giving these people everything and that means so much to me. Because I always think that, you know, if you're given something like this, you have to give it away. You have to be able to teach it to everyone. Um, so that way everyone can benefit from such an incredible gift. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, Lenny. Really, really appreciate this. It's wonderful. It, what else would you like to say to our viewers? Because this is an opportunity for you here to talk to our viewers all over the world and to get the message out. So what would you like to say? Well, obviously first I'm gonna say you wanna work with your ego and welcome your ego. That is the only reason that I'm doing healing work. It came natural. It's, uh, you connect with every aspect of your body. Secondly, every issue in your body has a separate essence. So say for instance with you, your pain and shoulder pain are gonna be actually two unless it's in one spot and then your leg pain is going to be separate so you want to work on them separately and do each issue one at a time welcoming them and don't give up do not give up keep going eventually it'll click and then you'll feel like the most powerful being in the world when that does happen you know but it can be frustrating because you, until your belief kicks in you're going to be like oh this might not be working for me that's how i felt the first day Okay. I kept telling my guides, this isn't working. I don't know what to do. Excuse me. That's really, really good. It's really good to tell people because not everyone is practicing this day and night. Like I be talking to Lenny here, you know, about moving on TV, you know, we only promote things where we believe in what we're promoting amazing people that are changing our world, you know, and I wouldn't be telling you this because people know me. They know I'm genuine. They know my life story. Everybody knows. Um, and so basically, as you say, take it slowly, slowly. So as you say, it took a while for you to kick in. Yes, it took an entire, about an entire, I can't remember if it was one or two days with the mold. Some things happen, have taken a little bit longer, but I've systematically gone through every single issue in my life and healed like 99 percent of them this way uh, using the healing blueprints you can use it for anything whether you want more of something like abundance or you want less of something like pain it mm -hmm. works the exact same way you can plug literally any issue into this and, and work. Yeah, that's what it was designed for my guide we used to know how to heal but we forgot humanity forgot and this is just reminding people how to heal again for example we were talking about worries and fears and how that can actually cause insomnia uh, people don't sleep very well. I don't sleep very well. I haven't slept very well since I had um, a lot of grief and loss um, last year with, when I lost my father and uh, I had um, big issues with my family um, who don't talk to me anymore. And I find that when I go to sleep at night, it seems to come back. Everything seems to come back. My head is like a washing machine head. It goes round and round. So what would you 
advice for someone like myself who doesn't sleep very well? How can they use the techniques? Because I know loads of people are suffering from worry about money and which is causing a lot of depression and insomnia. Well, I've actually personally worked with the word worry. You do the same thing. Set your sword and, sword and shield down and, you know, open the door, welcome worry in. Thank you, worry, for the experiences that you have given me. I love you. Take a second to really deeply love worry. And it has helped me sleep really, really well. Worry manifests as insomnia, OCD, fidgeting. That's how it shows up mm -hmm. in your body, mind racing and things like that. So I personally just happen to be working with worry these last couple of weeks and have gotten the best sleep. Yeah. I couldn't sleep either. I've never been able to sleep. But you can actually invite good sleep into the healing blueprint if you want How do you to. Do that, that has a different energy. That yeah, because you mentioned uh, that the same way what you set the mean? sword and shield down. Well, okay. Yep, and then you just welcome good sleep into it. it Exact same formula every time. Welcome, good sleep. Thank you for the experiences that you have given me. I love you. And allow, just allow the sleep energy to kind of. And you welcome in good sleep. Um, but then do you also still welcome in the insomnia at the same time? You can do that also if you want. You can personally. It worked better for me because it tackled two or three different issues that were connected to worry, like insomnia, fidgeting, OCD, all that stuff that's connected to worry. But yes, you can absolutely just add insomnia to it if you want, instead of good sleep, whatever you want to do. It works for both. Okay, so you recommend to work on each issue separately. So you're giving it your full attention, again, to make it so, for, as I said, for example, if you've got an issue like insomnia, which is causing lots of fidgeting and, and depression, which of course it can, you know, because you're not having a good sleep. And sleep is very important, especially mm -hmm. if you're not very well. It's the way the body renews itself. You need to sleep. Our immune system needs to renew itself. So for example, if you have, like I said, if you've got insomnia, so you recommend that you do maybe one session on welcoming in the, the insomnia or the bad sleep, and you do the whole process, and then you welcome in good sleep and you invite it in and you make it feel good. <laughs> so it's becoming part of your universe. Is that what you mean? Yeah, because you're, you're healing the insomnia and then you're welcoming the good sleep. But I think that it would just work if you worked with insomnia too. Um, I, like I said, I was working with worry and bad or good sleep, excuse me, and worry healed. OCD fidgeting issues, and then I welcomed good sleep in, and that seemed to have a really strong energy that put me to sleep. But yeah, you can do all of them, or just work insomnia if you want. Um, whatever your intuition tells you, listen to that. But yeah, you can do all of them if you wanted. That's fantastic, Lenny. Um, have you got anything else that people ask you? That uh, Do you get people contacting you, asking you questions, uh, interesting things that you may want to share about this? You know, a lot, people don't really have that many questions. They're more connected. The question are connected on which issues to welcome in. I, I do this every time in every one of my sessions. I say, do you have any questions? And nobody ever has questions. I don't know if they're too scared to ask them or if, I, I don't know what it is, that, you know, that there's, I haven't had any weird questions asked to share, sorry. <laughs> Great, okay. So, because it's really interesting, you've gone a, a step further than things like A Course in Miracles where we're told that the ego is what causes us all our problems. But again, it depends on the interpretation because it talks about um, mm -hmm. not having the separation. So again, to me, you can interpret everything the same way because the new consciousness is about joining everything. So why not bring the ego yes. in? bring the worry in, bring the fear in, instead of pushing it away. So you've gone to a higher stage, to a higher vibration now. And as I say, a lot of the energies that are coming down to us are on a higher vibration. I think um, every sage that we've had, every teacher that we've had, could only use what, what they knew. And, and now the energies are becoming stronger and stronger. I was talking 
to an angel uh, healer the other day and she told me that apparently we there are other planets around us now i don't know but you know she seemed to be very very strong about her beliefs and on every single planet there is equality except ours isn't that interesting everyone yeah, is looked yeah. after everyone has got enough food and enough and, and apparently because our consciousness is changing all these beings are now coming through and they're going to help us and that's why we have pen people like Lenny that are doing what she's doing. That's why we have people like Casey Armstrong, who's doing World's Most Amazing People, a radio station where he puts people like us on and promotes it all over the world. And that's why I created Moving On TV, because I want you to know the good stuff. I want you to know that you, there is hope, like my name. I want you to know that you don't have to suffer needlessly and this appeals to every single person, not just if you have a bit of a headache or you're healing from a broken leg like myself, but if you're suffering with cancer or anything and you're still going through your medication and whatever it is you need to go through, Lenny is giving you a gift where you can reduce the level of your pain. Now, between you and me, Lenny, there's a payoff for everything. And if people are given this on the guilt, you know, we're giving it to them on a platter. They don't have to pay anything. All they've got to do is sit for a few seconds a day and say, I love you, my pain, and, and there you go. I want you, I want you to understand that I'm going to work with you. It's not a huge thing that people can do. And I think that if people are not going to do it, it's because there's something underneath it. There's a payoff of some kind. You know, when people suffer all the time with pain, mm -hmm. um, um, and again, I'm not being patronizing because I'm, I, I don't, that's not what I'm trying to say here. And I'm talking about, for example, my mother, bless her, yep. who has passed. She was always sick. So when she healed, she had to get sick again. She had to get sick again. I think some people get sick because they don't have the opportunity to rest. And their body is saying, you know what? You're going to have to rest now. You've got no choice, mate. Don't you think that there's there's a payoff? And again, this is not patronizing. I'm just being honest because I know about myself. I know sometimes we need attention and then we get more pain and more suffering. But everyone is an individual and you need to sit with this and try to understand your own situation. But I know, how, as I say, how I was brought up. So how do you feel about that? When people are not healing, do you think it's because there's something inside them that needs that attention? Yeah, it's more like, yes, I agree with that. Absolutely. It's just, you're just being honest. And it's more, I think it's more like people become addicted to the pain and they don't know any other way. So they're not able to release it or that seems to be, I don't know for sure. I would never ever want to talk about anyone in a negative way, but I agree with you there. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like people become addicted to it. It's all they know. And they think that's all life can be for them, you know? Yeah. And, and it's, I'm not yes. judging Some anybody. I'm not judging them, anyone, absolutely. of course, right. because that's all my mother knew. That's all she knew. She just knew how to be sick yeah. and, you know, had a very good teacher. And I thought to myself one day, you know what? I don't want that. I don't want to think like that anymore. <laughs> and someone very clever said to me, well, what about thinking about your mother when she was a young woman? Because she was full of vibrancy and she was very happy. You know, so if you have been brought up in a certain way where your parents were always suffering, always in pain, then why don't you do what this person said to me? Think about your parents when they were actually happy, when they weren't laid down with all of this suffering. And then you can model them and then you can start to feel better because we do take on a lot of the suffering from our parents. You know, we do suffer suffer you know what our parents like they kind of like karma but we can get rid of it we can say no i don't want it and that's why people amazing people like right. me have come here to teach us and so we've given you the website and lenny has told you about how she's been healing everything from mold infections to colds to insomnia and you know a lot of people are walking around with chronic problems aren't they um, 
problems that they go to the doctor and they either get given loads of medication and can't get anywhere because they get the side effects or problems that um, there is really nothing to heal them with except doing stuff like this and of course I mean where where does it come in as well nutrition like um, looking after your body with proper nutrition do, um, do you do that do you have any special diets that you're on no I'm I always laugh because I'm not your typical teacher. I love junk food. I, you know, I'm not <laughs> into any type of organics and things like that. I truly believe what you believe you put into your body is good for you. Okay. So to me, junk okay. food's healthy for you, you know, ah. but, but you can't eat the junk food with the fear that it's going to be bad for your body. You know, you do in yourself to eat with love to do everything and learn trust for whatever you're taking, you know, cause you can actually do damage by eating only healthy foods and um, mm -hmm. having fear of junk food, you know, any type of fear is going to cause chaos in your body. So I was, le I learned to drink tap. I only, you know, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm not your average teacher. I don't do yoga. I don't, I listen to like really hard rock music, <laughs> you know, so with those things bring me joy those things bring me happiness and health to my own self but yes i do agree with you if you're loving the nutrition and what you're take, putting into your body will do you good if you believe that it's going to as long as you don't do it with fear you know wow you because you do look at these 90 year old people or 100 year old they're still smoking and they smoke and they smoke and they <laughs> love it and and they're still here and they're healthy and yeah i've heard this before <clears throat> someone did say that to me um, it's like when people uh, bless their food and they know that this food is going to do them good so everything is really in our mind everything is in the mind isn't it mm -hmm. yeah everything we're, everything is in the mind so we can change anything so if you're eating that beautiful bar of chocolate enjoy it <laughs> enjoy it and then it's going to do you good mind you I must admit that since the menopause, if I have uh, dairy chocolate, I do get, I, I, I can flush so quick, quickly. So, you know, um, but I haven't got there yet. I haven't got to the level where um, I can eat whatever I want. Probably because, as I said, when you're in a very balanced state and you're feeling very good about everything, I think you could eat anything. That's my personal opinion and I've done it. But when you're going through more stuff in life, that's when I think you need to make sure that you look after yourself better. And, you know, and if you have got any um, inconsistencies or weaknesses in your body, then be kind. Because it's all about loving and be kind, being kind to your body. It's all about love. Okay, just before we end, Lenny, just a little bit about yourself. So um, you live in Pennsylvania. Um, are, 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 do you have a family? Do you have children or is it just yourself? I do not. I have a cat. <laughs> Aye, yes, cats are wonderful. <laughs> Great teachers. <laughs> and so you work as a healer. <laughs> is that your main job, working as a healer? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. fantastic. Now. <laughs> That's fantastic. So um just coming back again so we've got the websites that i will put on so you can contact is there any other way we can contact you through facebook um or email or is there any other way you'd like people to get in touch with you yeah. the email address i can give you mine if you want mm -hmm. my gmail okay it's dubel d-u-b-e-l-l-e-n-i okay i'll pass the, i will pass on I will pass on Lenny's email to anyone who wants to keep in touch with her. But they can get in touch with you on Facebook. Do you have a Facebook page for this? Or is it just your private uh, Facebook? Yeah, we do have a an ego integration on Facebook group page. And then we have wholeworldpeaceintero.com Facebook page. And then most of it I got just kind of put on my own page and share. I am is also one of the Facebook pages. That's wonderful. And just to finish, do you have any plans to train up any other people so they can actually go out and, and 
you know, work with more people? Are you just going to do this the way you're doing? Are you going to do some official stuff as well with people, official courses? Do you mean teaching others to do this? Yeah, more like um, training people up, like so that because some people are funny, and if you say to them, "I've got it, I've got, I'm trained," then they're more likely to use the technique. Do you see what I mean? I mean, some people will be like me, and they'll just go off and they'll do it, but then you get other people that want right. the certificates and they want to know, you know, is this safe? And unfortunately, you know, a lot of people in the world can be like that. Um, so do you intend to create teachers? Um, no, it's just to be realistic. You know, I had this incredible uh, vibrational ther therapist and uh, for years and years and years he worked with me and he healed me of everything and then he got old and ended up having a stroke. And unfortunately, he had never trained anyone properly to take over. So what do you feel? I mean, you've got this incredible technique, this incredible way of healing people and pain do you think that you will be training any teachers at all or creating an academy of healing or i've, I've always <laughs> you know i've wanted to from the beginning the the integration itself the per to be able to see spirit the ego integration part and then the energy work um i could train them but i use my guides for that too they tell me what to do so they'd have to be able absolutely that i would train them to do this um but the the healing blueprint is more uh take that and do it on their own there's no energy work involved in that so yeah i, I would love to train someone to do integrations i've kind of been watching for the game to uh pass it on pass it along would be fabulous so there yeah, you go <laughs> But you can, anybody can do it. And that's the beauty of it. It's easy. Yes. It, this is yes. what I love about it. It's like Buddhism. Like people will go to Buddha and he would simplify everything. It's the breathing. It's your life experience. It's easy and anyone can do it. You know, you don't need to learn all these symbols with all due respect to Reiki and everything. You don't have to learn like years and years of symbols you don't have to sit for hours and hours meditating. You can do this within seconds. And I invite you to do it. The quick fix while you're sitting there on, on the train, on the way to work, and you've got a headache, close your eyes, surrender, bring the headache in, and, and see how you feel. See how you feel. Keep doing it. So, you know, I do it over the day quite a lot. And it's okay to do that, to keep doing it over. I presume you need to drink water because you're detoxifying. I, I presume, you know, you're, when you're healing, you have to drink more water and, and rest more and take care of yourself. Because um, could you have um, a detox from this in some way if you did it too, for too long? Could you have a detox, did you ask? Yeah, yeah. Where sometimes things get worse before they get better. As, and we know this happens, um, you know, if we're working with healing, it does happen. Does it happen with this technique? The only thing I've had, the only thing I've had detox with is when I work on people energetically and they have a energy sometimes for a few hours, it, there will be an energy detox, but not with the healing blueprint, not at all. Not at all. So you can do the healing blueprint, as I say, while you're watching television, you know, you pause for, or even while you're watching, I've done it. Just close your eyes, say, hey, <laughs> I'm laying down my guns. There you go, leg. Come on in. Have a cup of tea. We talked about that. Have a cup of chamomile or have a glass of champagne. And make it fun. <coughs> Cut. Sorry, I'm going through a bit of bronco stuff at the moment. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> make it fun, guys. Make it fun because you are creative beings. And as soon as you bring in the laughter and the fun, you feel that your depression will start to lift a little bit. Your pain will start to go down a little bit. And just be happy and do what you love because this is what we're doing. We're making the body happy. We're bringing the joy back into the body because when that happens, your blood can flow, you know, and, and everything relaxes. It's the same as Louise A says. 
um, about people that have serious blood disorders or heart disorders, the joy is missing in the body. So it's nothing new, is it, Lenny? You've just come up with something simple right. and easy, which fits 2017. And, and you know, it, it fits us. It fits us in this century when we want everything. Boom, 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 boom. Click, 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 click. So thank you so much, Lenny. It's been a pleasure having you here. Thank you. And um, I'm going to go off and I'm going to practice the, um, the sleep one. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm going to try and get this uh, done as soon as I can, get it up so everybody can watch it. And then we can, you know, hope, hopefully help a lot more people around the world. Do you have any plans to come to England at all? Not anytime soon. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Not soon. <laughs> What's your cat's name, by the way? <laughs> Marley. She's named after Bob Marley. <laughs> oh, really? Bob Marley. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, cats are the best healers of all. I've got two. And if you look at them, they are just totally in the moment. Totally at peace. They're amazing. Anyway, so I'm going to sign off here from Moving On TV from awesome people from around the world. And of course, you can contact me to find out more. It's Lauren with an E at movingontv.uk. And if you want to come on and talk about uh, anything that is helping the world in any way, because you are all unique and everyone has a right to their story. If you live in England or if you're in the area, pop in. There's Moving On TV, this is the studio. <laughs> and if you're on Zoom, if you're anywhere in the world, then we can now interview you. It's so exciting. So lots of love and blessings. And thank you so much, Lenny. Thank you, everyone. Namaste. Have a beautiful day wherever you are. And I'm looking forward to everyone healing themselves within seconds, minutes, by using the wonderful blueprint. So you take care. And if you have any questions for Lenny, please email me at Lauren with an E at movingontv.uk and I'll pass them on. And maybe we'll bring her back at some point and, and do another show where she can answer your questions because it's just so amazing to have you here, Lenny. So thank you very much. Signing off for Moving On TV. Namaste. Take care, everyone. Have a beautiful day and stay well and joyful.